If you're new to this channel, you may consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you continue to receive the updates. Please share it with all others who might benefit. Let's get started. We are going to talk about mutable versus immutable objects and we'll talk a little bit about how the memory works in Python. So let's say we have a variable which is named A and it's being made to point to an object which is an integer and it has a value of 5. Let's just assign the value 5 to the variable A. Now what we're doing is that we are taking up a new variable B and we are assigning it A. So B is equal to A. This is single equal to is assignment in Python. Next what we are doing is we are changing the value of A to 10. Now if we want to check the value of A, you can imagine we've just modified it. So value of A should be 10. But let's check the value of B. What should be the value of B? When we run this, it still is 5. Now let's understand why is this happening here. So let's say this area on the screen that you see marked in blue is the memory. When we say a is equal to 5, it's not that a is containing a value 5. a is a variable, a name given to a memory location, an identifier which is pointing to a value 5. The object here is the value 5 which is of type integer. So a is pointing to an object reference 5. When we say we want to take A and assign it to B, what happens is this. Now B is also pointing to the same integer object 5. But when we say A is equal to 10, then what happens? Then this is the change. So A would no longer be pointing to 5. There is no connection between A and 5 anymore. A is pointing to a new object reference which has a value of 10 whereas B continues to point to the earlier object reference, which was 5. A and B had no connection. The only connection between A and B was that they were pointing to the same object reference. The moment the object reference for A changed, they would no longer be pointing to the common object reference. B continues to point to 5. A now points to 10. This is how it works. Now let's move back to Google Collaboratory and try to understand this a little better with some inbuilt data structures. So let's say we create a simple list of three elements, which is containing elements like one, two, and three, and we name it my list. Next, we assign this my list to a new list. Now we try to modify the original my list. What we are trying to do is, we are trying to add another element to it, which is number four, using the dot append method for lists. So when we do this, this object called my list would be modified it will be now read as 1, 2, 3, and 4. But what would happen to new list? New list would again be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we made a modification to a list. Now what kind of data structure is a list? List is a mutable data structure. And there is a difference in the behavior when it comes to modifying the mutable data structures versus immutable data structures. List being mutable, when we perform a change to it, that same change takes effect for the variable to which this my list was assigned. Both get modified. But you'll see a difference in the behavior when we talk about immutable data structures. And why this happens is because list and my list are essentially pointing to the same object. When it comes to the immutable data structures, let's say we now use a tuple. So we say this is a tuple which has three elements. Notation is a little different. It uses parentheses. Lists use square brackets. So we are doing the same exercise. This is called my tuple. Then we assign this my tuple to a new tuple. And then we try to add an element to the tuple. So tuple doesn't have an append method. Tuples are immutable. So we're trying to do it in a different way. We are using concatenation here. We are adding a plus sign and adding another tuple which has only one element, four. Please note if you directly try to add four, it will give you an error. If you try to just write four within the parentheses, it will give you an error. So this comma here within the parentheses makes it a tuple. Now we are adding a tuple, but are we actually changing the old tuple? The answer is no, tuples are immutable. When we are adding an element to the tuple now and storing it as my tuple, it's a new memory location. So as a result, what will happen is this my tuple, if we will print, would have been modified, but the new tuple would have no effect. Let me show you my tuple here, first of all, and you can see what happens here. See, so this is one, two, three, four. But is this the same object that we had earlier? The answer is no, this is a new location. 
Whereas the new tuple piece that we started earlier, which was assigned the earlier tuple, would continue to be the way it was. So this is a fundamental difference between how mutable and immutable objects behave.